It was supposed to be one of the hottest ticket invites of the year. Rob Lowe's ultra-exclusive 60th birthday party last Saturday night in Los Angeles. But one uninvited guest managed to steal the spotlight in a major way when she was removed from the A-list affair after crashing unannounced. Eyewitnesses say the lavish Beverly Hills bash was in full swing when former actress Meghan Markle turned up alone and began inserting herself into conversations among the celebrity attendees. She approached Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom and started chatting with them like she belonged, revealed one partygoer. They both looked pretty confused as to who she was and why she was there. The surprise appearance of Prince Harry's wife caused a visible stir, with many high-profile stars exchanging whispers and unsure how to handle the situation. That's when host Rob Lowe took matters into his own hands after being alerted to the situation. Rob marched right over and told her something along the lines of, This isn't a publicity stunt. You need to leave, said another source. He made it clear she wasn't welcome and wasn't on the guest list. Humiliated, Markle was then escorted out of the exclusive Beverly Hills property. But the damage had already been done. Her unexpected arrival shocked many famous faces in attendance and left the typically discreet event with an unwanted storyline. For Markle, the fallout has been intense. Within hours, details and photos of the confrontation dominated celebrity gossip sites and social media. Headlines slammed her as a party crasher looking to schmooze with Hollywood royalty. Many criticized what they saw as a blatant attempt to insert herself into the industry's inner circle without invitation. The controversy only intensified when Prince Harry spoke to press the next day. Claiming full responsibility by advising his wife, she was welcomed to pop by Lowe's birthday uninvited. But the move did little to stem the tide of criticism against Markle. In a surprise twist, the Duchess of Sussex took control of the narrative once more by authoring a candid personal essay reflecting on the humiliating ordeal. Published online just days later, the revealing piece pulled no punches in hitting back at false gossip and doubling down on her perspective. The article kick-started a bidding war among media outlets and ultimately led to Meghan sitting down with none other than queen of talk herself, Oprah Winfrey, for a no-holds-barred interview special. Airing earlier this month on CBS, the explosive tell-all saw Markle open up about navigating life as a royal and tackling negative tabloid coverage head-on. Now two weeks removed, the aftermath of the Oprah sit-down continues dominating global headlines. While reaction is decidedly mixed, many praise the Duchess for using her elevated platform to defend herself and have her say on her terms after facing public shaming. Supporters hail her courage in coming forward about challenges few could imagine within the intrinsically private royal structure. On the flip side, certain circles see her actions as further proof of being ill-suited to royal responsibilities and norms. Their argument is such a public display exacerbated long-standing tensions within the monarchy, especially with allegations of racism leveled against an unnamed member. Wherever one stands, there's no doubt Markle has made 2021 truly the year of Meghan so far. From the bombshell claims aired in the Oprah special to ongoing fallout, she remains one of the most polarizing and talked-about women worldwide. Only time will tell if this saga cements her as a principled feminist figure or perpetually adds fuel to the royal fire she's exited. One thing is for certain, the Meghan effect shows no signs of slowing down.